Okay, let's set up the very first free fall problem, the one where the stone is dropped from a bridge to a river. Like the previous problems, let's draw a picture and see what the situation looks like. So, we have a stone being dropped to a river below. Here's our start point. Here's our end point. In this case, I would like to choose positive y pointing down because nothing is going upward and it makes sense. So let's see what I know. Since the stone is dropped, V0 is 0. I am looking for delta Y. So I'm really not looking for how tall the bridge is because the bridge isn't moving. I'm looking how far the stone displaced. That would be the height of the bridge. So let's make our list. V0 equals 0. The time, 1.86 seconds. We know the acceleration. This is a freely falling object. A is the positive value of 9.80 meters per second squared. Why? We called positive Y down. G always points down. Since the arrows point in the same direction, they have the same sign. And what are we looking for? Delta Y. And the other two terms are V and V bar. Let's make sure we understand that the final velocity V is not zero. We can't analyze the stone when it reaches the water. We can only analyze it at the instant before it reaches the water. Because once it touches the water, a is no longer this. This is what you really have to be careful on when you're solving these free fall problems. So we do have enough information to get delta y. Delta y equals v zero t plus one half a t squared. That whole term is zero. So delta y is one half a t squared, one half, 9.80 meters per second squared, 1.86 seconds squared, which gives us 11.9 meters. Let's do a quick check. Positive 11.9 makes sense since we called y down and delta y is also down, they should be the same sign. The number also seems very reasonable for the height of a bridge. 